Hello Sirens, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video and welcome to my new subscribers. By the title, of course, you already know this video will be about narcissism and narcissists, how to spot them and how to get over them. But before we delve in, go right ahead and hit that like button, subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you're the first to know when a new video is posted and share this video so that it can reach a wider audience of women who can benefit from this channel the same way you do. Also, if you're tired of being single or having failed relationships, it's time for you to change your life for the better by joining my online community so that you can get more in-depth, step-by-step information that can help you to become more successful faster on your femininity and hypergamous journey. I also teach women all they need to know about becoming successful sugar babies or how to become a wife if that's something you're interested in. There is something there for everyone. Click the link in my bio right now and join so that you can finally get the man you've always wanted to treat you right. So let's get started. This topic was heavily requested, so it's about time we have this necessary conversation. Let's start by first identifying what is narcissism. Narcissism is a mental disorder and the pursuit of gratification from vanity or egotistic admiration of one's idealized self-image and attributes. So a narcissist is someone who has this inflated sense of own self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships in the past, and also a lack of empathy for others. So now that we understand what is narcissism and who is a narcissist, I'll tell you three, tra three traits most narcissists tend to have so that it'll be easy to spot them. So number one, they are very charming. They first appear to be the man of your dreams. They are very nice. They give you compliments, but in a love bombing way. For those of you who don't know what love bombing is, it is simply showing too much affection too soon with over the top gestures. That can look like never ending compliments, demanding immediate commitment, slyly taking up all your attention and time, neediness, and excessive communication. Narcissists are experts at creating strong connections quote unquote very early in the relationship because they like to move fast they're very impatient so the trick is to blind you with enough charm so that whatever comes down the road can easily be overlooked because quote unquote it's not who they really are because underneath it all they're a sweet person Number two, gaslighting. So gaslighting is a technique that undermines your entire perception of reality. So when someone is gaslighting you, you often second guess yourself, your memories, and even your own perceptions. Um, after communicating with the person that gaslighted you, you are left feeling dazed and wondering if there is something wrong with you. Some narcissists gaslight you by saying you're overreacting, that you should stop imagining things. Um, they say things like, I don't think... I don't think you know what you're talking about or it's even all in your head. And number three, extreme lack of accountability. Now I use the word extreme because as humans, our egos prevent us from admitting when we're wrong and thus we struggle with holding ourselves accountable. But with narcissists, everything that happens under the sun, moon and stars is everyone else's fault. They have this great ability to disown the facts and the truth of the very thing that they should take accountability for. So some are so convincing to the point where you begin to feel like it is your fault. Now it's time for the part you've all been waiting for, how to get over a narcissist. So number one, get professional help. Depending on, the, depending on the type of narcissism the narcissist has and how much damage is done, sometimes self-help tips are just not enough to undo the lasting mental scars and sometimes physical scars of a narcissist. So sometimes self-help tips will just not work. You can book a 
um, a session with a therapist or book a consultation with me. I've done consultations about this kind of thing plenty of times and I've helped many women to overcome such an ordeal. If you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can simply send me an email to my email address. That information is in the description box below. Number two, cut off all communication. You have to cut off communication because they know what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. They know all your weak spots because they spend a lot of time studying them. Giving them a chance to explain themselves will not work because they will say anything to get you back. Not because they love you but because they love the idea of being in control and probably no one has ever left them before. So to soothe their ego, they need to prove to themselves that they can have whoever they want, even if it is someone that has left them. Narcissists rarely change, especially those who do not get professional help. Once you are gone, be gone for good because they never change because they don't think anything is wrong with them. Number three, last but not least, have a strong support system. It is important to have a strong support system of friends and family that can be there for you. If you're all alone, you might go back, especially if the narcissist isolated you from everyone to make you solely dependent on them. You need people around to take your mind off him, keep you on track, and to let you know that everything will be okay. Nothing lasts forever. You will get through this. You might feel like you have lost a good thing because of how well the narcissist played his role role but it was all an act and nothing else just focus on moving on with your life because that's all you can do at this point now i love reading your comments so comment below any experiences you've had with a narcissist how you got away and any additional thoughts you have on this topic also remember to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell join my online community for more tips tricks and strategies on this on topics like this and more at www.seductivesirensgroup.com and also follow me on Instagram because I share information there that I don't necessarily share anywhere else for free and that's at Seductive Sirens Group. All the information you need is in the description box below. I really enjoyed sharing my thoughts with you ladies today. This has been your relationship fairy godmother Seductive Siren changing the world one woman at a time. Goodbye.